Welcome everyone. It's St. Patrick's Day. Welcome to uh, my live stream. I, fr I didn't even realize it was St. Patrick's Day until I got to work. So I got, I bought this shirt actually at Michael's. It was on sale, so I bought it. I thought it was kind of cool for uh, wearing something green. Cool. I'm going to do a, a green undertone on my landscape today. Let me get my camera all adjusted. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm going to do something green. Green, green, green landscape. Let me get some cool green out. I'm going to get some lime green. Let's try some lime green real quick. I'm gonna put some lime green on my palette here. You can, when you do uh, acrylic landscapes, you can use any paint you want. Uh, it doesn't have to be expensive paint. I'm just gonna water this down so I get, wow, look at that undertone. It's gonna be nice. That'll be the undertone. And I I gessoed the back of it with black, so it's really tight in the canvas. If you're new to the channel, I should have showed you the back. I just gesso the back. It tightens up the canvas, and it makes it a lot easier to paint on. It makes the paint flow better off the brush when you got a, a very tight canvas and when you when you uh, gesso the back of it like this it also prevents like light from outside getting through I experienced that a lot because in the summertime I'll go out on the porch there and paint and I used to have to put a uh, board behind my canvas to do the video and now I won't have to. I'll just, you know, just so the back really dark and no light will get through. It's a really cool trick. All right, there's the green undertone. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a cool landscape. I'll try and leave a lot of that green show through, so it's uh, we'll call it the St. Patrick. Day landscape. I should have put that in the title, but I didn't think quick enough. <laughs> All right, there's my undertone. Look at that. It's a nice green, right? I don't know any uh, St. Patrick's Day songs, but we'll give a lick. for a second. How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. I can't believe I got 50 people in here today. That's awesome. <laughs> I got to find my paper towels here. Uh... trying to practice up so when I do get like a large group uh, in my live streams that'll be awesome I can't wait to get like uh, like a very large number of people in the chatting and stuff that'd be sweet well can't find my roll of paper towels, so I gotta use an old napkin here. Let me get started. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do uh put 
put some mountains back there first. We'll put some, uh, just a hint of some kind of mountains back here. Maybe some hills back there. And uh, maybe I'll do a river, a green river today. The green river. So when I lived in Chicago, they used to uh, put green dye in the uh, river that went out to Lake Michigan. So maybe I'll leave this river green. We'll see. And uh, we'll put some bushes down here with some trees going up here. We'll have some, maybe a, a hill back here with some bushes here with some trees. This will be an easy one. <clears throat> I kind of want to keep a lot of that green, leave it show through, but I've already mixed my palette here. I'll show you. What I got, ultramarine blue with white in it, yellow with white, I got black and white of course, burnt umber, yellow ochre, my greens, I mixed my green, I, I took a little ultramarine blue and yellow and made this green here, and I made this green by using that black and yellow and made this kind of green here. I made my gray black. I'll start with the mountains. Uh, black and white. But there's with a little bit of uh, blue in it. It's almost like a Payne's gray. Let's start with making the mountains uh, just uh, blocking the mountains with a gray color like this. Don't bring that color. I'm not going to bring it down too far because I'm going to lighten up all this down here. And for these hills back here, I'm just going to make them like a light gray. Just a hint of uh, some rolling hills back there. Look at that. This is going to be an easy one. I want to go quick because I got a lot of things to do today. I got, I want to make a whole bunch of shorts. I got a lot of shorts. Uh, so on my iPad, I found this cool app. It's, it was already built in. It's called uh, iTunes Movie. And it, I can create, I can create some cool stuff with that thing. I'm going to let a lot of this green come through in the sky since it's uh, St. Patrick's Day. I'll probably leave a green hue around the mountains. Yeah, like that. Like a green glow around the mountains. It's gonna, it'll look cool. Improvising, improvising. I like painting on the fly, especially, I mean, landscapes, uh, once you get the hang of them, you're gonna find out that they're not, they're not that difficult to, uh, design on the fly it all depends what you want this is a small canvas so it should go quick it's a 14 by 14 it's tight as a drum it's tight as a drum because i gessoed the back so when you gesso the back it it makes the canvas really tight and you don't need much gesso, just a little gesso 
and then a lot of water and just paint the back real quick. It should take you only 30, 30 seconds to paint the back of the canvas. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just uh, keeps the light from coming through and it also tightens up the canvas. Look at that sky. I really like that. I'm thinking I should have left, uh, maybe I'll put some green back up in the sky there for St. Patrick's Day. Let me see what that would look like. Just a hint. We'll see. Maybe I'll... It's kind of like a greenish blue. I like it. I'm going put, to put some cool clouds up there in a little bit. So I had to work. I had worked a little bit this morning. And uh, I got some things I still need to do today. I got to go get my equipment. We played last week at this uh, the Dirty Couch Brewing, and I left all my musical equipment there, so I got to go pick that up sometime today. I think I'm going to leave uh, this green glow in here. I, I really like it for... And it looks cool. Uh, let me see what it looks like in the frame. I should zoom this in for you. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to try and leave it green for St. Patrick's Day. That looks really cool. I'll probably leave the water, <laughs> this, this river. It could either be a river or a pathway. I think it's going to end up being a river. I'll make the water green. That'll look cool. So this down here, I'm actually going to make it... Uh, let me try a yellow here. Yellow back here. And then I'm going to come forward with uh, yellow ochre. Get a little bit of yellow ochre. Just uh, I'm talking like you guys are painting with me. But that's alright. I'm just making it darker as it comes forward. little burnt umber now. Burnt umber. I'm just mixing my paint. This is the uh, the second layer of undertone I'm putting down. There we go. And up here, I, I got some other green that I'm gonna put in here. So like almost like. A, green you would see out in nature so I'm gonna put that in here and I'll keep the river like glowing like that I think it kind of looks cool all right so there I got the the, the underpaints done now it's time to get a fan brush put some trees in here now let me put the, the snow on the mountains first. Man, I did a painting last night on the live, man. It came out so good. Uh, it's not that one up there. I, I didn't switch it out. I'll go grab it in a second. Man, look at how cool this looks in the frame. Wow. It's really glowing. <laughs> man. That looks good. Let me put some snow up here. I think I'm going to have maybe this one out front so it looks like the mountains are kind of going back that way. So I'm actually going to put the snow on the, the left side today. See if I can do it. Uh, 
because I'm used to uh, pulling the snow to the right. You could flip your, uh, this is the way I usually put it on, so just flip your knife up like this if you want to put the snow on the, uh, the left side of the mountain. And then just run some snow down like this with your knife. Mountains are fun to do. If you want the mountains to look really far away, don't put as much snow up there like that I did. Just put a little bit of uh, snow on it. It'll help uh, make the mountains look further back. But look at that. <laughs> wow. I really like that. I'm going to change this mountain up a bit, though. <laughs> so if you just joined in, this green is a light green I picked out of my cheap paint just for St. Patrick's Day. It's called <laughs> Lime Green by uh, Basics Acrylic. Liquitex, that's the underpaint, but man, it's making it look cool, making it look like it's glowing green. I really like that. All right, now. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, some of this color on the the right on the shadow side of these mountains. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the blue and green. I kind of want this color up here in the sky. Uh, Also making it white with a little white look to lighten it up a bit. Let's see what this looks like. More on the blue side, but that's okay. I've got enough green glow in here. There is some green in this, but it's like it's showing up blue for some reason, which is all right. Yeah, when you paint with the acrylic, you got to kind of hurry because, I mean, it dries fast. It's already dried up there. It's You got to kind of get used to wherever you're working. If you're working in one area, try and, you know, finish it off uh, quickly. If you want to get blend the colors together. That's why if you if you watch my videos on how I do it, you'll you'll pick up on how the areas what to work on. Uh, like how I the way I paint, you'll you'll get used to it. You'll see. Man, look at those mountains. And I also do I do realistic painting, so I'm not trying to be uh, down the road, I'm going to do Impressionism, but for right now, I'm trying to do realistic. Those mountains look real to me, so besides the green glow, th this is going to look realistic, is what 
in the end is what I'm trying to do. But man, look at those mountains. Oh, man. Man, I'm kind of glad it was St. Patrick's Day. This painting is coming out awesome. I've never used like a, a bright green like that for the undertone. It's always been like a, a darker green. But man, this is what happens when you uh, experiment. I really like that green color. I'm going to leave that green glow around the mountains when it's all done. Oh yeah, that deserves a, a lick. I can't believe how cool those mountains look, man. Man, look at those things. I, I put the, the snow on the left side today. Uh, like I said, I usually do it on the right side. I'll do a little bit of something in here just to show you. Uh, if I usually end my mountains right about there, but... If you want to define the edge a little more, you can. Uh, like, I see this mountain is, like, uh, kind of coming down this way. You can define the edge of the white with a gray, like this. To make that really show up a little better so it kind of looks like a, a mountain edge here just to define it a little better but man that looks so good All right, I'm going to leave the mountains like that. But there is a lot more you can do to the mountains to uh, really uh, make them stand out more. You can put a little dark color underneath the snow here. To make it look more like uh, a shadow there. All right, let me move on. I'm going to do the trees now. This is going to come out good. It's a small painting, 14 by 14. Uh, I'm going to do the clouds real quick because I want to run some trees up into the sky. So, I'm going to run some clouds from here in the distance. Down here. A fun way to make clouds. I'm trying to make them look like they're going off that way. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I'm going to put a few small floaters down here. 
near the bottom. I like to make my clouds look like they're blowing, so I pull the bottom out like this. It kind of looks cool. <clears throat> but you can do whatever you want with your clouds. And I'll probably just put like a like a hint of a a streaker coming in here like this. I like to keep uh, part of the cloud like open sky up there. That looks good to me. I really like that, and uh, I'm trying to get rid of that hard edge where the green is you see I kind of kind of covered it up with the clouds so it looks all like sky now man <laughs> I really like that man this is coming out good I'm surprised I only got three people watching that's amazing this is the St. Patrick's Day uh, landscape here, man. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some I'll put some trees in now with the uh, I'm going to put just some dark color in here. This will be a uh, some kind of distant trees way back there and then I'm gonna keep moving forward here with some more trees maybe these are more like uh, uh, maple trees here Some maple trees in here and then right here is where I'm gonna run a few big trees over here so I'm gonna put some small bushes around the river here just some kind of bushes here uh, on the river's edge and I'm going to run some trees up here now. Uh, I'm just going to do evergreen trees because all the way up in the sky. Because I, I like evergreen trees. <clears throat> I live in Seattle and I see these trees every day. So you can put any kind of evergreen tree up here you want. I just like to put the... Uh, branches on pretty quickly so it looks kind of loose and I'm going to kind of fill it in a little bit here I put these type of trees in my paintings a lot because they're easy to do okay they're just uh, anybody can learn these if you're uh, if you want to uh, start to learn how to paint these are easy trees to do okay I have uh, a lot of videos on my channel so when you subscribe, you could go back and uh, check out all the videos I got. Of I got videos on how to make trees, mountains, clouds. I mean, you don't even have to subscribe. I mean, they're all they're all free. 
anybody can go in there and watch those uh, videos. But I'd rather have you subscribe. <laughs> That'd be cool. Wow, man, I'm kind of glad it was St. Patrick's Day today. This is the first time I've ever done a painting like this. And uh, you guys are seeing history right now. Seeing history. I got a, I think I, earlier I said I got a lot to do today. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do some, uh, shorts and stuff, more shorts. I, I got this new, uh, movie maker on my, uh, iPad that I figured out how to use. That I've had it on there for a couple years. I didn't even know it was there, so... So I can make some interesting uh, shorts now. <clears throat> That'll be fun. Wow. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like impressed with myself because, uh, I, just because of the green. I mean, the green looks, it looks wicked. I really like that, man. Wow, I can't believe it. Let me align my water up real quick so I can get the river kind of established again back here. There we go. The river's coming from here down. I don't know why I put gray in there. I think I'm going to put some bushes there. So I'll put, I'll put the water line maybe under the gray here. I'm really happy with this one so far. It kind of looks real and it looks like fantasy at the same time with the Green River. Let's see if there's anybody in the chat room. I'll, uh... No, just same or same here. Same here, same here. Hola. Yeah, I got one like so far. That's good. I hope somebody would like this. <clears throat> the chat room on? Yeah. Chat room's on. Everybody's quiet today. Everybody's quiet. That's all right. That's all right. I'm going to highlight these trees here. I'm just, I'm not going to make them bright green, though. I should, but. I'm just going to put, like, an, enough highlight on there to make it have some kind of 
dimensioned. So it looks like it has some branches. No color, it's just white mixed in there. I'll put some uh, green bushes down here, the yellow and green. A real bright yellow green. There we go. I'll do the same green down here. Maybe I'll add some yellow ochre in, in a little bit. But I'm going to start by just putting some color in these bushes. And I might change them up here in a second. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, that's pretty wicked. The uh, the green the green water. I kind of like it. It's almost time. I need to have a big tree right here now. A big evergreen tree right in the middle. I've been doing enough birch trees. I'll show you the one from yesterday. This time I'm going to, I'm just going to put a big skinny evergreen tree here to fill this corner in. But see, I, I, I put a regular tree on this one. You see how real those mountains look? This is the one from last night. I was really happy with this one. Now I'm like happy with this one. Look at look at those clouds. You can see some of the green coming through on the shadow underneath the clouds there. Man, this is coming out great. I can't wait till these I start selling these. Uh I don't know how to do it with the uh, with the uh, YouTube. Uh, I think I got to set up. Uh, I don't want to do. Uh, I got to find out what stores they uh, deal with. But uh, I used to be on uh, that one art. Uh, website i can't remember what it's called uh, but it was so hard to sell on there uh it etsy or something like that if that makes sense Et etsy i don't remember i think that's what it was called Look at that. Nice big tree right there. And, uh, wow. That's what I needed. I needed something to fill in this uh, side here. And I'll put, uh, if you've been watching before, you know I like to put uh, my birds up here in the sky. <laughs> this one I'm going to highlight green. I'm going to get... Uh, Like a greenish, a light green. Not too light. Just light enough to uh, make it look green. I 
I got to remember to touch it very lightly because it, it makes more branches the lighter you touch it. There we go. I like that. I'll put a few bushes in the front here with uh, maybe yellow. Yellow and green. There we go. Cool. So if you just come and tuning in, you have to go watch the beginning how I put this <laughs> light green undertone. It was pretty cool. Uh, that's how I got the green glow in here. It's for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, my camera's falling down. There we go. Man, look at the green glow. Yep, you guys are seeing a pretty cool painting here. Where's my, uh, I'm looking for my liner brush so I can put some twigs in here. There it is. This is just a... Uh, a liner, number two liner brush. Just to put some cool twigs in here around the trees. If you go out in nature, I mean, there is twigs everywhere. I can't even begin to tell you how many twigs you'll run into, especially here in Seattle. There's just like dead branches everywhere. But I'll put a few in here. I don't want to bore you with the twigs. This came out pretty good. St. Patrick's Day special. Put a few birds here. <clears throat> Man. So after this, I'm going to start, I'm going to work on some shorts. I've been I've been working on this new abstract stuff I got. I can't get I can't get them one of them to go viral though. It's funny how the uh, my shorts work. They they do good. They'll get up to like 600 and then all of a sudden it just stops. I don't know what's going on with the... Uh, it's different than... Uh, YouTube was different uh, like 10 years ago. 
the algorithm was different. It all depends on, also, it also depends on how much your uh, videos get shared, you know. If people are sharing the videos, they'll, uh, they'll keep them up and running longer. <coughs> wow. This came out pretty good. Guys, I really like it. Uh, let me fix my bushes up a little. The bushes kind of look dull. Uh, so I'm going to add a little pop to them. Just a little bit of pop in here. little bit of color ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Looking pretty good. Oh, let's see who came in. Uh, KS World. This is a... Uh, what size is your line or brush? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, number two. Number two liner brush. For acrylic I'm kind of not I'm just going fast but this one works good you just gotta get your uh, acrylic mixed with a little water just right so this is st. Patrick's Day special I used uh, if you're just joining in I started with a green undertone with uh, lime green. Check it out for St. Patrick's Day. That's this color here that the river is. But there it is. You caught the tail end of uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, painting, landscape, improvised. I really like this one. I don't know how how many paintings have I what? I don't know what you mean. Today I've done one. <laughs> In my life, probably 10,000. All right, guys. This is all I'm doing on this one. I'm going to start working on uh, some of my... Uh, the rest of the day, I'm going to work on shorts. I got this new uh, app that I can make the movies a little better so it'll be cool ellie how you doing i see you in the the chat room <laughs> how's it going this is actually green it looks yellow but it's uh lime green for saint patrick's day green green it does it does uh, look yellow, but it's really green. Came out really good. I like it. Even the sky is green. You guys probably don't see it, but this is all green. It was, I did it for St. Patrick's Day. You guys got to see the, the shirt I got on. There it is. You can't pinch me. I got a green shirt on. I got that shirt at Michael's this morning. I had to work. 
man that painting came out so good it's it looks kind of like a fantasy and it looks realistic too it looks like a mixture of both fantasy i wanted it to look real and it does the mountains look real to me man if you're just joining in you should go back and uh, watch the whole thing once this thing uploads but Thanks for stopping in. It's still kind of early. I might do another uh, a live stream in a couple hours because it's still early in the day. But I got I got quite a lot of things to do. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I do. Uh, I'd love to have you come aboard. I've seen you in here before, KS World. I don't know what season this is. It's just St. Patrick's Day special. <laughs> Lights coming in from the left. And I got a green water. So... It was fun. This was a fun one. I think this one's going to sell, believe it or not. The colors just look amazing. I would have never thought of this if it wasn't for St. Patrick's Day, but man, I really like this one. I bet this is going to be, if I when I throw this on Twitter, it's probably going to get my the most likes. Every time I'm done with a painting, I, I post it on X. And uh, this one I know is going to get a lot of likes on X. If you guys have got a Twitter account, you can follow me on X. It's under my name, uh, Richard Krejci. Same name as the, the YouTube all right, guys, I'm out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys were awesome. Thanks for chatting in the room. And cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We'll see you guys. Let me throw a little lick in there before I leave. <laughs>